I'm a lighting designer and I'm the founder of ACT Lighting Design. And it's only by accident that I've, you know, been thrown into the drone business, looking for new ways for outdoor shows to present my work. And at some point, uh, during a brainstorm session, together with the uh, president of Puy de Fou, which is a, quite a large theme park in France, we came just to the idea of doing something with drones. And uh, after a little proof of concept that we kind of put together, we um, decided that this would be an enhancement for the show. And so the investments came with it. And uh, our search for a drone supplier didn't go nowhere because nobody was actually interested in our projects. We were too small for the big ones and we were too complex for the small ones. So we just decided to do it ourselves. And how hard could that be? It doesn't really disturb me or it doesn't really influence my business. It's a, it's a separate entity that we created to respond to a need of the show business, if I can say that, uh, in our you know, in our industry. Um, so the drone itself for us is just a tool. If we would be able to do the same thing with a new gimmick that comes out tomorrow, then we would use that too. It's just a tool for us to be able to enhance the narrative of our uh, show, of, of the story telling that we want to do. People just, uh, you know, came up said that what we were doing was special, uh, out of the ordinary. And, and when I've seen today, the first day of these uh, sessions here, um, I understand that what we do is a little bit out of the normal of what drones are used for today. I saw everybody talking about, of course, camera work, but then most of it was all about the mining and about inspections and about parcel services and those kind of things. So what we're doing with entertainment is, uh, is really niche, nothing to do with them. So I really felt also a little bit out of place, but um, I think if I wasn't a speaker, I wouldn't have come.